Okay, everybody, here we are at the beginning of turn five. And I'm hoping we may actually be coming in on, on an end of the game here shortly. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is determine the threat level. Okay, do you want to roll two d6s? And you have to add two to the result. Oh, dear. A seven becomes a nine. It becomes uh, even better. There it is can't... no serene. Yeah, it's any just, better. <laughs> it, it pretty much just stays as serene. Okay, now roll one d6 and add two to the result on the street defense table. Now a he six. rolls a six. That becomes an eight. One d6. New militia plus a new vehicle. <laughs> Dude, Friendly. Feb 17 for Friendly. the win. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let me pull up my webcam. Let's see how many guys come with that. Four. Oh, my God. This is what happens when I do things in the wrong order. This is my favorite part of the show, where Jim fights XL. I enjoy this part of the show every time I watch. <laughs> and none of these are ambivalent either. Oh my god, that's right, these are friendlies. <laughs> what am I doing to myself? I could have just let that slide, you know. That would have been oh. like, if we'd have moved on to a turn. I was gone. literally thinking about going, oh, you know, if only these guys were friendly. <laughs> we have got to lose this bit in now, now, Jim. We have one hundred percent to lose this bit in now. <laughs> okay, so now we're finally done with roll street events, and I placed my new, uh, my new friendly vehicle on the map. It was new machine gunners. We'll go to ambivalent vehicle. There is no ambivalent vehicle. We'll now go to ambivalent pedestrians. We've so, got some of them. Oh yes. I'll turn on Mr. Webcam, and we have some ambivalent pedestrians literally right next to my. Um, my GRS super hex there. So, um, yes. odds Super, super hex. Uh, odds for gas. Uh, three. He gets to move those three guys. That just oh. the end of the Um. Oddest boss. We ran out of ammo. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. It really is crazy. Uh, I think they're going to go to uh, uh, Lima Ten. They're going to head towards uh, the second half of <laughs> the third part of the game. Hopefully. That bloody interpreter has been a pain in my backside for this game. He literally calmed He's down definitely, the by far in this game, he is my highest priority target. The other guys can kill me, but he can turn three soldiers that generate, you know, 66. But it's either that or I split down the guys more into singles so he has less of an impact. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's, it's, it's good. It's, um, what it does is it equips me a lot better to kick the crap out of my American compatriots come 5th of set. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you are, you are basically getting practice at the game now, so... <laughs> well, they, can, they can watch. There's yep. nothing, you know... Um, that's ambivalent movement. Then we go to hostile vehicle. There are none. Hostile pedestrian oh. move. Is that your whole force, just those four hexes? Yeah, there literally is. That's, that's all I've got left, buddy. I literally outnumber you right now. Yeah. <laughs> And not by a small amount yeah. when you think of dishes and grenades and, and, <laughs> and yeah. other such nice stuff. Um, you know what? We're just going to buddy buddy up. So the uncle will go into the opportunity fire unit to provide fire support there, and the pistol guy will go into Lima Raid. Okay, we now go to GRS uh, vehicle movement. There, there, is comes. A, there is a GRS vehicle on the table. Actually, there's three GRS vehicles, but one of them actually has a driver. One, two, three, four. Does he block line aside? Nope. Cool. Again, like these tiny little ants are like the actual size of real life cars in the satellite image, so hell no. Anything, yeah. all the units in this game are way out of scale with the actual table itself. This is all I could do by this stage is potentially do a lot of damage with whoever you try and get in the back gate. Because I don't need to move. You do. And if you don't move them this turn, then it's turn six for the diplomat. <laughs> no, I can I, still, I can I got, still I can... see. I've got to go for it. You've got to go for it. I can just bum rush it and hope for the best, but 
Yeah, I'm gonna take all kinds of opportunity fire, or I could literally just move like maybe two hexes, and at least get a conceal turn. bonus. In turn six, then. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'm trying. I, I, for me, victory air quotes is turn seven. So looking at the table, turn six is probably my favorite turn for you to reach because it gives me the highest number of miniatures in the compound. After that, it drops off again. <laughs> I could just hear, do I, don't I, do I, don't I, should I, shouldn't I. So they have moved one hex only? Yep, yeah, so we'll uh, definitely be engaging. I was, <clears throat> I was half considering just literally sitting this one out. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. No, it wouldn't have been a bad move necessarily. Yeah. You would have definitely killed quite a lot. That gives my Feb 17 guys a chance to blast the Indian fools and you know probably knock them all down. In fact, you know what? Uh, no, I'm not going to go back. We're covered. We get double defense dice and we roll D10s. Yeah. Um, yeah, you should be fine. That's H8 was. So I was just waiting for you to basically move your last, and I can only attack one hex because you've split them. And I knew that. So, but. You know, yeah, everything you, you've still got you still got one RPG there, and that, that yeah. the RPG affects everything in the hex. So yeah, they are definitely belly crawling across that street, um, yeah. using wrecked so, cars as cover and you know, burning debris in the street and whatever. So, it, that's it, so uh, people might ask, why did you move at all? And my answer is, I'm sure. Number one, I don't want to be cheesy, and number two, um, I am trying to get there on turn six. And if I can reach hex J7 and only moving two hexes on J7, I can at least get the conceal bonus. I'm sure yeah. at least some of those guys in Lima 7 and Lima 8 will be left. So I'm not only thinking about this fire phase, but next fire phase. Okay? And uh, cool. So, yeah, it's time for your opportunity fire. Yep, so all nine into H8. Everything fire. Oh, my God. Oh, oh yeah. no. So all fire. Every single bullet an RPG into H8, please. Okay. So, Alrighty. so this is all going into Roan. Okay. He's going to try and knock down at least one guy. All right, cool. Um, okay, so cool. Uh, 1D, f 1, 2, 3. He's t barely in range. <laughs> I'm not even going to roll that. Uh, and that's why. <laughs> so pistol guy is done. <laughs> We're just going to work our way from that's north that. to south. Is that cool? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, we got a 2D6 after that. Oh, oh, double sixes. Oh, together. Okay, double sixes. <laughs> no, that's the two shots from the assault rifle. Right, so, so it's 2v6, six, six, you're yeah. shooting at one person, that means the six is the best number. And I yeah. just tied that with a six, he barely survived that. So he's, I yeah, get 2D, he, uh, he's I get definitely, uh, I get 2d10s uh, because, I'm co because I'm covered. Yep. Okay. Uh, the next 2d6. Yep, blue shirt. Ooh. Six and a five. Oh man, come on! A five and a ten. Oh, crushed it. So not only that, he was digging in with his eyelids as he went across as well. Okay. Um, then there's uh, uncles oh. in there with three D three D six. Six. <laughs> oh no! He's finally been clipped. So the five doesn't matter because you got a five. So just the one. Yep, hit, that's, so. that's one hit so far. Okay. Um, I'm going to roll a d6 to see what happened. A2, that is a light wound, no effect. Oh, balls. <laughs> Good body armor, I like it. Alright. Uh, you know what, I'm going to do the important one next. RPG! RPG rolls a d8, but everybody in that hex has to roll defense, so you really want to roll well on this d8. Oh, come on. Oh, no! <laughs> The tide has turned. <laughs> All right, so that is eight. I'll just I'll just centralize that and hope and there pray. There you go. But you got okay. two d10s each one, yep. so you're still so, not in uh, the worst situation. Eight, you just need an eight up on so one of those d10s. Here comes Oz. Oz has been hit. Oh, uh, come Roan. on. Roan is good to go. Roan just oh, dodged yeah. all that shrapnel. And then we have Tonto. Tonto has been hit. Um, cool, so we got two guys hit, now let's see what... <laughs> the two I wasn't aiming for. Roan obviously saw it coming right down the grid and just got out of the way. Alright, so for Oz, four, I think that's, well, that's definitely a wound of some kind. I'll look up the That's chart. a severe. 
Okay. Minus one to all AD classes, interpret rolls, bleed out on a five plus. Uh, a second severe will equal incapacitation, three plus for a med check. Cool. Um, and Tonto uh, has also been hit by that. Yeah. Tonto gets a one, no effect. Oh, shit, yeah. sorry. Um, a one, no effect. Cool. So then, okay, cool. So we got one wounded guy so far, and now we have a whole bunch more. Oh my god, there's more gunfire coming at me. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh man, 3D6. We'll do the, I'll do the pistol at the back, get him out of the way, because he's only okay. a yep. Same target, Rowan. <laughs> That's a three? In right, fact, cool. I should really have changed to the severe guy, to be honest. Alright, so then we oh, go to... Uh, because he's already took a severe, so I can get a seven, second he's one. He's good to go. So... LMG is next? Uh, yep, 3D6. Is he switching targets or...? Uh, so he's staying on Oz. Okay. Uh, uh, I have to get at least a 5 on 2D10s. A 6. Good to go. Uh, then next 2D6. Ooh, a 2 and a 1. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, I think Tonto's... Support. I think... Uh, oh, wait. Guys Anything but a 1 on Double both. Fours, yeah. yeah. And the last guy. Oh, he gets that six. six. Here we go. A ten. Oh, crushed it. So that severe wound has got him on the floor so deep into the ground that um, yeah, he was he was in some good cover. Uh, so those guys lose conceal but have it. So now it is the GRS fire phase. Dear Lord, I'm gonna get something coming. <laughs> yeah. Now, even if all these guys make it into the building, as far as like the the historical result, everybody made it to the what you call in, into the compound. Um, I don't even know if anybody was wounded. We got one guy severely wounded. Um, so I think you've already exceeded the casualty rating. Uh, as far yeah, as I think. The, oh yeah. I might hit the gate like one turn early, like if I get there on turn six instead of on turn yeah. uh, seven. So it'll be kind of like almost like a draw. So first of all, I'm putting an RPG into this hex that has all the guys. <laughs> What's uh, an RPG? What's an RPG? Uh, oh, wait, you have RPGs too? That's not right. Point blank RPG, so I get to add one to this roll because it's point blank fire. And it adds uh, all the dice to all the things. All right, cool. <laughs> By the way, guys, if he had decided to shoot at these Feb 17 guys instead of my elite operators, they would be a grease spot. Both because we got plus one, because um, you would have been point blank, and I don't get double defense dice, and I only roll d6s instead of d10s. Yeah, it would have been all killed. But so these, are the, guy, the, these are the guys that matter. So he made yeah. the right call. Yeah. It's a tough one, that. It's so uh, possibly if we were playing the third game, knowing that these would still exist for the return journey. I think I wouldn't have shot your GRS, and they would have got there unscathed. I think I'd have took out the Dushka and that unit with an RPG. It's literally, so, I literally, in this particular game, I literally just used those meat shields. It's just like, go, maybe he'll take opportunity fire, maybe he won't. If he won't, that just means I'm going to slaughter him. <laughs> yeah, Speaking of which, yeah. I should probably get to it. All right, at D8 plus one, this is a hugely important role, so i got to make sure i got the webcam on. Feb 17, you've been killing it this game. Please continue to do so. One more good roll. One more really good roll. Uh, three becomes a four. So, probably not. All right, so, so let's first, the... we'll go for... We'll go... All right, yep, yeah, RPG. Yep, yeah, he gets a roll 2d6. He's, he's done. He's destroyed. Next, uh, Uncle. He's he good. survives. Um, next, guy with a kick-ass shirt. Oh yeah. Of course he he, uh, He's got the kick-ass yeah, shirt. He's got the kick-ass shirt. This clown is not even wearing a shirt. He's okay. Yeah. And last, this guy does not get to roll twice. Oh, this guy is not, he's not covered. This 1d4 guy only oh, gets to roll one twice. Oh. Oh, he survives anyway. He's probably Good covered Iris. now. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely oh digging in. Oh my god, they fired an RPG at us. They have RPGs. <laughs> okay, Mr. Douche rolls 3d8s. So, who am I aiming at here? We have no more explosive weapons. So, Where's Uncle at? Where's uh, Uncle Uncle's Fester? in the north one, and Uncle Two's in the south. Oh, we got two uncles? <laughs> we got Uncle Fester and Uncle Gomez. Alright, uh, I'm gonna shoot at Uncle Fester first. Uh, this guy down here. Yep. Okay, so, uh, do I put 3d8 into him? Um... <laughs> Yes. He's got one douche burst right at him. Oh! Someone wants to play with machine guns! Okay. 
Now I'm gonna have to blast some fools. All right, here we go. Three D eight. What was your number? Your your highest number was a uh, six. I got right? five and a six. So. All right, so I literally have to roll days. at least one seven. Seven. Yeah. Roll at least one seven on, on Uncle Fester there. And I oh I got one seven. There you go. Right, yeah, Uncle you clicked him. All right, 2d4 versus, you know, we're going to have a pistol duel. 2d4 versus this d4. Oh, uh, nice. Just for no reason, though. Also, he has no cover bonus. So he only has, basically, he's the only guy I think I can hit. He's got 1d6, essentially. Yeah, well, uh, yeah 1d6. So here you we go with 2d4. These are really d4s this time. Um, a 3. So, up to 4. four. Yeah. Oh, he missed. Sweet. I'll tell you what, my guys are really ducking and diving for good reason after the RPG guys got slotted. Tons of stuff firing at him. Here comes another yeah. SMG, a 2D4. I'll shoot at the same guy, because okay. I don't think my, my 2D4 is going to hit much else. Uh, a 4 becomes a 5. Okay. Oh, a 1. He's gone. Bye-bye, checker shirt. I have a legit pistol guy. He's going to shoot at uh, the guy with no shirt on. Stick your dice tray on, Jim. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Uh, a one becomes a two. Basically, you Ooh. have to not roll a one. Uh, yeah, I've got two D on this, this one. This guy gets two dice. Yep. Oh yeah. No two swords. No huge surprise there. And last, he already fired. Obviously, the RPG guy. The only one left is now uh, two D six uh, versus Ooh. your two D six. I get to add one to my rolls. Indeed. Um, double sixes. Oh, I'm screwed then. I can't beat that. You so you've got seven. Count. So I already declared that was not one guy, so I can't not say, oh, guy no, that's both guys. Oh. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, you obliterated them. All right, and of course these guys lose their concealment bonus, because you kind of know they're there now. Uh, cool. All right, oh, these, oh, I so screwed up. Yep. <laughs> these guys don't have line of sight on this X. Oh, well, they'll, they'll keep shooting at, at uh, Leroy Jenkins down here. That's cool <laughs> Leroy, I believe you. <laughs> All right, so um, these guys do not get plus one. I'm gonna fire an RPG into that hex. Yeah. I did that. That's okay. just being really silly. Right, one d8, <laughs> no plus ones. A three. Uh, you have to beat a three to get two d6s. Oh yeah, you're yeah, good. Next we have three d6. <laughs> You're so in cover right now. I was just shot oh everywhere. God, yeah. <laughs> uh, a six. He has oh, to. Oh uh, dear. I need to roll a six. Yeah, we get two D6s to do it with. Because you get no plus there, so. Yeah. Oh. oh, he survived. <laughs> that last guy is dug in like an Alabama tick. <laughs> uh, one D4, this is kind of pointless, but hey, he's got a pistol. You know, have you ever seen the movie Harlem Nights? I won't, I won't, yes. I won't, okay. Where they're all lined up in front of that storefront window and they just blast away with all kinds of <laughs> submachine guns. He's got his little pistol. Psh, psh. Don't shoot that little piece of shit no more! What the hell are you doing? It's where he hits him with a 2 2 now after a Dushka and an RPG and he pulls out a 2 2 pistol and slots him at range. <laughs> it is mathematically possible. So here comes a D4 from my pistol guy, Grandpa Jones, there. He gets a 4. That's the best possible oh, roll. Just, come on. No, come on. Don't let me down. He's got a good shirt. He's got a good shirt. Oh, we're good. That's six. He's good. All right. I need to switch out this weighted dice at some point. I feel like I'm showing my. <laughs> uh oh. Um. Here is the good news. These guys who are not really fired at have line of sight on this hex. That's true. So, here comes Tig with 4d8s. Alright, so I don't get plus one because I'm not point blank. So, here we go. The best I got was a five. You could totally yeah. survive this. Shame you didn't have your camera on. Uh, I'm just saying. I am six. just saying. Dude, it's okay when I don't have the webcam on for a bad roll. It's These when are the same I don't dice have, every time. <laughs> it's when it's it's when I don't have the camera on, and, and then it's like, oh off. oh wait, I'm sorry, I didn't have my camera on. I swear that was an honest roll, and then it's like eight <laughs> eight ten eight. All right, so Tig missed for a change. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna get my sniper on fast. D12 oh, plus yeah. one. D12 plus one. All right, this is uh, Boom. All right, Boom. With, with a long arm, time to do it. Come Three. on, do it. That's a nine plus one is ten. Well, shit. <laughs> I don't think you can possibly beat that. That's a three away between the eyes right there. I'm um, pretty sure he chose his location well where he put that round. <laughs> we have Silva with another D. I forgot I got two songs. That's freaking awesome. Yep. All right. All right. And they're going to go ahead and put, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm just going to grab the first AK guy. 
48 on the first AK, got the guy in the blue shirt. At least it's the right dice. One, seven? four, six, and yeah, seven. So I can't beat a seven, so that's an auto brassed up kill. Sniper number two. Uh, this is uh, Tonto. I'll even remember to turn my webcam on this time. Um, <laughs> he's aiming for the, uh, the AK guy. The grand finale. Ten becomes eleven. Oof. He's out of gas. And that's why they're long barrel weapon systems. Oz, 1D10, this is... Oh, that's the grenade launcher. Roan with 2D10 of the assault rifle. Oh my god, a 10. Oh. The dice have been on my side this time. I'm not even going to try. That's it. why they're tier 1, baby. <laughs> you know what this means, though? You still have a shot at taking out the best shirt guy with the final man. Oh, no. Even though but he's severely injured. <laughs> uh, 2D10. Minus one because uh, he's he's injured. No, it's minus one weapons class, right? Yep. So he doesn't get D10s anymore. He gets D8s. So he's actually knocked down a, a tier. He's now a second tier operator. So he gets two D8s. You get to roll D6 times two. Indeed. So, so if we can keep him alive. This final shot of the game to kill my last guy. What I probably should have done is save one of those fire guys to actually do a med check on him and stabilize him. Ah, be right. All right, so double fours. You got a four and a one. That was just enough to survive. Yeah. Your four tied both my fours. That is. Pretty sure he's not. He's just. He's gonna find a sewer to crawl into and try and get out. Uh, mechanically, I mean, I know we're kidding around, but mechanically, all he has to do is not move, and he automatically gets the cover and consume bonus. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I now have to roll a uh, lead out check. Yeah. Um. If you roll a 5 or 6, he reduces one level. So he goes from severe wound to incapacitated. He basically passes out from blood loss. Oh boy, come on, Mr. Roan! Do oh, no, not Roan, uh, Oz. Do it! <laughs> 4. Barely. Whew. This game is coming down to not only individual dice rolls, but individual digits on the die roll. A 5 would have actually had him uh, pass out from blood loss. Okay guys, so here we are at the beginning of turn 6, and I'm pretty sure we have some light at the end of the tunnel here. The entire enemy militia force is down to one guy who is hella pinned down. RPGs are firing at him, douche is firing at a point blank range. There he is. Uh, that's the only enemy militia f uh, figure left on the table. Meanwhile, I have recruited like half the city of Benghazi into uh, <laughs> Feb 17. I'll go ahead and roll 2d6 and subtract one from the roll. Snake eyes. Oh, beautiful. If it's a bit too had, late. If only, the, yeah, it. if only this had happened on turn two or three. So yeah, the street is hella pissed off right now. That one, that one militia guy is really angry. Um, so suffice it's still it to quiet, say, though. <laughs> it's still, you know what? For that one, we're gonna knock it down to tens because it went down two levels. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll 1d6 and add no new. Uh, no new, uh, whatchamacallits, um, because we're now down to, uh, tents. And I roll a four, which is no militia in the street. Nice. So, yeah. Yeah. We'll then go to, oh god, hostile vehicles are not hostile pedestrian, you have exactly one. Hell no. Dig in. <laughs> find a corner, stick your gun through a small hole, and hope nobody comes in to find you. <laughs> Cover and concealment that takes care of hostile. But see how fast this game works? It helps when the other side only has literally one figure on the table. <laughs> um, Mr. Interpreter jumps in the vehicle, and the vehicle does one, two, technically three, four. I'm not firing. Okay, I just want to make sure. All right. Yeah. Um, so, cool. Uh, then we go to GRS pedestrian movement. Yeah. Oh boy. All right. Well, yeah. Here's where it gets kind of simple. Um, this is why I didn't rush the gate last turn, because now all my GRS operators are two hexes away. They can at least get the conceal bonus. So, long story short. Both shot. There you go. They're just gonna be two hexes to get to the objective hex. Two hexes to get to the objective hex. Reaction fire. Oh, I, I assumed as much. Okay, so you get, uh, that's a uh, assault rifle guy, that's 2d6. 
Which of yep. those? Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, which of those guys are you uh, shooting at? Oz. Oz. Okay, here's where Oz is not concealed. Oz is not concealed because he has negative one to his movement. So him moving two hexes to get to that gate costs him his whole movement. For a severe, for a severely wounded character to have the conceal bonus, he basically is taking two off of his movement. He can only move one. So Oz, I actually don't get concealment for him. He's actually air quotes open. He's literally hobbling down the street. Oh boy, I might lose Oz. Okay, two d six versus one d ten. Let's give it a go. Uh, no, you're fine. Two and a one. Uh, I got lucky. I got, I got <laughs> away with it. I think he was really trying to uh, give away. away with <laughs> unless, unless I roll a one. Um, and I rolled an eight. Okay, you're cool. Fine. All right, now we get to the end of uh, that's the end of GRS movement. Yeah. Um, so Wadi is going to go. And of course, once you make a medic check, you can't fire that turn because that's basically your attack. You're attacking his wound. Um, he has to roll. He's severely wounded, right? So I have to roll. What is it? A, a five up? A uh, three up med check for severe incapacitated. It's a five up. Okay, so he's severe. I have to roll a three plus. I have to roll a three plus. A natural six heals him. So let's see what happens. But you in the box. Uh, three, barely. He Just, is now. Yeah. Uh, he's still severely wounded, but at least he's now he's not bleeding out. Out. Yeah. That tourniquet is on. All right, cool. And that would pretty much be the game. I mean, all these five seventeen guys. Yeah, I'm long last. I want to see these long rifles take out my. Poor bloke. <laughs> oh, you actually want to see it? Okay, I was going to just Oh, yeah, I've got uh, one guy left. He uh, doesn't want to see it. He's left concealed because he's actually fired, so he's just down to cover. cover. He gets, he gets so he gets plus 2D. So let's see, how long, let's see how long that shirt lasts. There's a little bit of red on it, so he's a little bit of a red shirt. I'm surprised he survived. <laughs> okay, first, boom, your chance. Here we go, boom, with a 7. Uh, that becomes an 8. And then uh, Tonto rolls also a seven. Oh, it's evens. They both slot him in the chest. Yep. And uh, I don't think you can beat that. <laughs> one bullet in his left ventricle, one bullet in his right testicle. And we'll leave it at that. <laughs> and all these Feb 17 guys go into the thing. So, yep. One, two. I'm sorry. Yeah. So they're just going to sp start spreading out and uh, take over the rest of the city. Holy crap. Mm. All right, well, that was a play test, everybody. Wow, yeah. So that's turn six. And it's, yeah, so uh, to go through the motion super fast, bleed out check no longer required because, uh, well, there's no close combat. Malicious small arms, there is none because now he's dead. Um, bleed out check no longer required because the one wound I have is stabilized. The only thing I kind of screwed up on, I left one vehicle behind. So turn six are at moderate risk, so the ambassador risk is a three plus. Yep. So with the, that, this is the new table, by the way. Um, yeah, we're like at the, the height of uh, the actual attack on the compound, which is not so uh, not so hot. 4d20. Again, this this isn't canon, but just to kind of test the game. Oh, oh my God. Good roll, Jim. 15, 19. 20 and 5, so there's a 20, 40, 59 plus 10, 69 militia. Or that, that, compound, that compound is overrun right now. And uh, let's see what's up with the ambassador. Uh, we need a 3 plus. Yeah. Oh, uh, he's like, uh, he's, not, fine. he's not even coughing yet. Yeah. So, well, yeah, that's. Uh, 69 militia. 69 militia. Okay, that's why I'm not outside. They're all in, they're already all that, that explains it. That's, that explains why you got no reinforcements. They're all focusing on the ambassador compound. This is where if you don't have enough miniatures for the Chicago game, you can just start building them in waves, works drift style. Yeah. Um, holy crap. 